Hello, it's Lock Noob, and today I want to review the Dangerfield Serenity 10 piece lock picking kit from UK Bump Keys. It is the same pick set as used by Mad Bobs on their Ghost Pro kit. Differences being that the Ghost Pro kit comes with a much nicer case, is finished to a much higher standard, but with a premium of a £11 price difference. So UK Bump Keys are selling the Dangerfield Serenity at £15, and the Ghost Pro kit sells at £26, if, of course, you can get on their extremely long waiting list, because they, they do all the hand, uh, finishing by hand. Um, let me try and get through this review as fast as I can, with giving you as much detail and insight to what I think about the Dangerfield Serenity pick set. So, first things first, the case. You're not going to be really worried about the case. I assume that if you're into lock picking, you can have a much nicer one. Um, but if you just look, there's a lot of fraying at the, the edges of this case. Um, the attention detail in regards to stitching right angles isn't there. The popper is a bit cheap. Good things about it, it's, um, it's light, it's double stitched where it needs to be, and it's acceptable in terms of a second um, spare kind of wallet if you need it. Okay, enough about that. Uh, what else does this kit come with apart from 10 picks and rakes? It comes with tension wrenches, you get a standard L wrench, um, nothing much more I can say about that apart from you probably need to get some more if you're really going to um, start use this as your first kit. It, a really good thing is it comes with a pry bar wrench, uh, very similar to the Peterson's pry bars. Um, I really like it, you can use it for um, uh, top and bottom of the keyway tensioning, so it's um, it, it's quite nice. Only thing is, it's that a lot of the other Peterson style wrenches do come with serrations, uh, little teeth, uh, just, I don't know if you can see it very well, just here. And that actually uh, helps grip in the lock and stop it slipping out. So um, that doesn't mean this is bad. It's just that it, uh, some of the other pry bars are slightly better. That's all. But it's still, by the way, really nice to have one of these in the kit. What else does it come with? Well, it comes with a mix of uh, rakes and hooks. Let me show you what they could consider the hook set here. So there we go. You have a, a deep standard hook. Um, the curve on this is, is almost at a right angle and it's quite a deep hook there. You can file it down but the curve of this um, pick is still going to be quite deep. Just to show you, by the way, uh, a comparison with the Southall Euro Slim picks, I've got a couple of um, short and medium Euro Slim hooks here. Just look at the angle of the curve of those hooks, um, these two, compared to how deep and um, angled this this other hook is. That isn't a bad thing, but it does limit you to what kind of locks you can pick with it. I'll show you that later. The other hooks that you get are a very good, very nice um, half diamond, a reach pick, it's called a ball reach, and this is designed to reach over pins so that you can um, pick some of the back pins without disturbing the pins in front of it. This keyway here is quite open, I can go in quite low down and I can start to manipulate the, the pins as you can see at the back without disturbing the the pins in front of it too much okay um, the other pick that you get is a deforest ball and again it's designed for the same so you can go in um, quite low down the, the, the lock and you can start to manipulate and, and pick the pins um, at the the back without disturbing the ones um, at the front so much here what do I think about uh, these these picks um, in terms of quality, they're stainless steel, 22 thousandths of an inch, which means that you should be able to use them in many of the European locks. Um, you do need to, and I have, 
um, rub them down with some sandpaper and some wire wool when you get them just to take off some of the sharp edges give you better feedback in the lock uh, they are quite uh, flexible and they're quite strong they're, they're quite a good stainless steel I quite like this little notch here because when you're you're picking you can um, rest your finger on it or you can rest this finger and and, and, and lever it I actually think that the quality and design of the picks is really smart would have preferred a, a kind of thicker, more comfortable handle, maybe a plastic insert or something. But hey, I'm not going to complain. The, these are fifteen pounds for this 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 kit. It's really, really very good. Um, the rakes. Let me show you the real reason I personally bought this kit it is because it comes with some rakes which I, I just didn't have. It has the uh, prince and princess rakes here, um, and you know if if you like raking, I like raking, and a lot of other people do. Um, the range of rakes that you have is the key to being able to get into the locks because you know you're trying to offer up as many different profiles to those key pins as you can to try and uh, trick the lock into thinking you've got the actual key. The more rakes you have, the more opportunities you have to get into those locks. So these, really good. Um, I would have bought those two picks for the price alone. So uh, the first thing to say about this kit is it's a bargain. There's no reason why you shouldn't actually get one, I don't think. However, um, I also already have a Bogota. But I'm really excited about this one. Why? Well, I've got the Euro Slim um, Southord Bogota, which is a great pick, but it's just a little bit thicker. It's a little bit deeper. The um, amplitude, the difference between the peak and the trough here, is a, a little bit greater, and that means that I can get this top one into more locks. This is a better Bogota in terms of quality and finish, but this one's slimmer, and that is uh, a, 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 just another good thing to have in the kit. Okay, I've left one pick for last. Other reviews have said that this is um, some form of reach pick, just like um, this DeForest ball or maybe this curved reach over here. There we go. Uh, but by process of, of elimination from the description that UK Bumkeys give, I think this is a swerve rake. I think it's actually a a form of rake, a rocker rake actually. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, let's bring this over again and maybe I can show you. So if I put this in here, I can use it as some form of reach pick and I can actually start picking the pins at the back um, without disturbing the pins at the front. But if you're going to do that, this extra curve in here just doesn't make any sense. If anything, it's going to, um, for deeper lockways, it's going to mean that you have to push that curve into the lock and, and that, that's not good. Um, however, if you think about it as a, some form of rocker rake and you put it in this way or this way, you've got a wave profile to those pins so you can lift and lower, and lower them um, in different ways. So if you look here, I put this in, I'm lifting the back pins, um, there we go, uh, in, a, in a wave form there, I put it in this way round then as I put it up, I, I you can see that um, I'm picking the back and the front pins in, in a waveform. And this by rocking it, you're you're, you're giving a, a number of different um, profiles to, to that lock. So if I'm reading into it right, and comments if you've got another opinion, I think this is actually a form of uh, rocker rake. And, or, you know, it is a reach bit. Either way, you know, it's, it's so useful to have in the kit, you never know when you might find a use for it. Okay, um, downsize this kit, um, and by the way, I really do mean what I say when I say you should buy one. There's, there's really no reason why you shouldn't. They're uh, 20 thousandths of an inch, they're slim, they're strong. Um, they have a lot of stuff in the kit which you don't get in other, in other kits. Um, things I would say which I, I think are really important to understand. This shouldn't be your first set. Um, or at least it should, <laughs> you should get some other picks to go along with it. That's probably close to the truth. Okay, um, if you live in Europe like I do, you'll see a lot of these Euro profile locks. If you look at this, very paracentric keyways, um, not a lot of room. These are thin enough to get in there, um, but this is the only hook. That isn't really good enough. Why? Because you probably need a mixture of these kind of short and shallow hooks to really um, make the most of picking these Euro locks. If you've got these padlocks with these wide open keyways, well, you can pretty much use what you want. But um, 
with these Euro locks, let me just show you what I mean. Um, okay, here we go. So this hook itself is very deep. If you go in at the top here, it's uh, you, you can't really get past that warding. You can wriggle it round a bit to try and pick some of those pins, but it's a bit of hard work. I've got the one at the back. Uh, there you go. And maybe if I move across, I've got the second one. It's a, it's quite hard work. It's not impossible, but it's it's not great. Okay. Uh, if you go in where the pins are, because this is so deep, and by the way, I filed this off a little bit to make it a little bit more useful and rounded the edges, um, but you're really going to be fighting past those pins. And if you do get past them, you're going to be disturbing all of those pins as you go down. And as you're trying to pick, you, you can see that I'm pick, trying to pick at the back and the ones at the front are moving. So uh, it's, it's okay. This is not actually nothing wrong with this hook. It's just I think that it shouldn't be your first kit because it, this is the only hook and you might get frustrated. If you look at these Southord ones, this is a, uh, you know, quite a short hook. But if I want to, I can go down at the top of this, uh, the pin set here. And look, I'm not really disturbing those pins very much. And I can, as I go down, um, you know, choose which pin I'm picking. Um, and again, you know, this, uh, I'm not doing a great job here of not disturbing the other pins. But if you're gentle, um, you can get away with it by actually moving down um, the centre of the lock. And, and even if you don't, you can go in at the top. And um, because these are finished better, you can actually um, get around that warding um, a lot more easy by going in uh, at the top of the lock here. So, just to round up, I think that for the money, £15 UK bump keys, this Dangerfield Serenity kit comes with enough kind of interesting and novel picks that anybody who's just starting lock picking should probably think about picking one of these up at some point. Um, you do need to finish them off, you do need to put a bit of sandpaper and wire wool around them to get a bit of a, a polish on the uh, the edges of these so they can move in and out of the locks a bit nicer. Um, but don't make this your first kit, um, even the, the Mad Bob's Ghost Pro, just because you don't have, I think, enough hooks in it. Um, you don't have things like the City or L rake, you don't have a worm rake. There's a few kind of really nice things that um, most lock pickers use commonly um, that aren't in this kit. But should you buy one? Yeah, yeah, you should. You really should. Um, but it just shouldn't be your only or first kit. Okay. I'll see you next time. Thank you.